What is that? What? You know I am obsessed with alien activity like UFOs. Like. What's up guys, Chris Starr here and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done an intro like that in a really long time. What's up? We are in Sedona, Arizona, one of the biggest hotspots for alien slash UFO activity in the country and possibly the world. And we've already started having experiences, which is insane. We've been here since yesterday and we're quite freaked out. So I'm gonna be telling you guys a little bit about what happened last night and I'm gonna be sharing some creepy, I'm gonna be sharing some interesting things about Sedona. You guys know I'm obsessed with aliens and extraterrestrial life forms, so this is definitely up my alley. Or up my canyon, shall I say. <laughs> Took us a hot minute to set up camp today because the RV was like super unleveled. Uh, odds against us all day today. My camera broke. I'm using my old camera that I gave to Mel. My phone is broken. My computer's broken. Nothing's working right. But we we we're doing our best here. We're still thriving. We are manifesting some some good energy, some positive energy, some really good outcomes to this entire situation. Manifest that shit. You see, it's not like focusing. There are talks of portals here in Sedona. Portals that allow for alien extraterrestrial activity. I am a huge believer in multidimensional beings. I believe that extraterrestrials, like what we think of as aliens, are multidimensional beings, which allows them to come in and out of our dimension, which is why sometimes we see them and sometimes we don't. There's a lot of those portals around here and there's a lot of tours here as well. We're not taking any. We're, no. we're doing our own thing. We're off-grid camping. We're gonna do our own portal tours. So let's go make some dinner. So now I'm on my phone, but my phone is also broken. It broke as soon as I got out to LA. I don't know why. I'm drinking this here longboard lager. I'm in my jacket. It's cold out. Look at that. Mashed potatoes and we got milk. <laughs> I think hands down Sedona beats Area 51, Roswell. Just because there was an incident in Roswell does not make it the alien hotspot. Sedona is known for that. The amount of cases, the amount of accounts here from different people. There was a van lifer who came out here, posted it on TikTok. I'll try to find that TikTok, but they woke up and there were these weird symbols carved into the dirt, into the clay dirt out here. Nobody knows what they are. It was very strange. They kind of looked like these weird, is that how you say the word? Hieroglyphics. Maybe we'll wake up to some weird symbols outside of our RV. We were hearing all different things last night, which we're gonna tell you about in just a few. Yeah, last night was a, uh, was a ride. Okay, so we are going to clean up our mess from dinner. Go outside and roast some marshmallows. I got some yeah, vegan marshmallows ones without gelatin. Oh, uh, guys, oh my gosh. I, I don't ever want to leave Sedona when it's Oh, sorry. Mel is showing you the little showing the, the marshmallow, the marshmallow sticks. sticks we got. <laughs> They're so cute. Fun. I'm it's excited because so like things are so weird. Things are so weird. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I want to live out here and study the portals and all of the alien activity and then I want them to take me home. Oh my god, we were literally just talking about this. We don't know, we're, we're not saying for sure that this is a UFO or extraterrestrial activity, but we were inside the RV cleaning up. Jeremy was like, you have to come and see what is happening outside. There are these giant flashes in the sky. It looks Light like- up the entire like portion of the sky. Like, now, it looks like it could be heat lightning, but guys, it's it is cold. so cold. <laughs> it's like it's 30, 30 It's about 32 degrees. The it's stars, it, it's a clear night. There's not a cloud in the sky. Sky. If I could, I would show you. I'm going to attempt to show you guys what the sky looks like right now, but I am dumbfounded. Like, what could that be? If you guys it's have insane. any idea, let me know in the comments if you have any idea what this could be. I'm trying to get a one more. Do you see that weird right here? No, come here. You think that could be a town over there, or why is it so. Oh, I hope I got that. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. 
<laughs> what <laughs> the f is that? What is that? What oh, is that? What? <laughs> you know I am obsessed with alien activity like UFOs. Like I am literally obsessed with aliens. All I have to say is here under a very clear night sky, you can see so many stars in the sky tonight. There is very little light pollution. It is bizarre. I have never seen anything like this while it was this cold now correct me if i'm wrong if i sound completely stupid let me know down in the comments what you think it is i don't want to hear heat lightning because it's not it is 32 degrees in this desert and the surrounding areas stars are Crazy. really bright like honestly guys i you can't oh, oh hold on a minute it's like they know <gasps> oh, <laughs> what <laughs> what I've seen lots of heat lighting before, but that that's that's been going on and on and on. Vegan marshmallows. Non-vegan marshmallows. May I have my stick? Oh, look at the fence. We're looking for UFOs. Oh. We're looking for UFOs in the sky right now. And I'm gonna roast a mallow. Mel struggling. We're looking for aliens and making s'mores. Oh, I can see something bad happening. Mel just hissed. <laughs> oh no! Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ah! Oh. Already know. Ah! Your stick is off! <laughs> 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 I just burnt myself on your stupid stick! Oh. <laughs> that is all, folks. <laughs> way to an alien vortex. Now that's cool. Boynton Vortex Trail in Sedona. I'll let you guys know how it is. <sighs> the vortex guys, the vortex is right there. We're almost there. Mel, tell us how you feel. I'm dead. 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 <laughs> Just breathe like that. <laughs> we have made it up to the energy vortex it's a bit sunny but right in front of me is kachina divine feminine you guys know i am incredibly spiritual so to get the opportunity to visit a vortex one of the four vortexes that are pretty hard to get to and some of the locations in sedona is such a great opportunity like i'm so grateful right now and the sun just started to come out so nice little treat for us here ah it's so pretty that's kachina that's divine feminine and then the divine masculine is back there just forget his name <laughs> about 32 degrees here and my fingertips hurt we are so cold freaking jeremy's in shorts everybody left it's starting to get windy the drone almost flew off the mountain again uh we need to get out of here this energy vortex is for real so like really though it's it's crazy up here guys it is yeah <laughs> highly recommend but uh maybe try to come when the weather's a little bit warmer, when the sun's out. It was snowing and it was really cold out today. This is all I got on. I got my combat suit. I'll give you guys a little peek at the combat suit. Guys, this is the combat suit. It's like, all the way up. I don't know if I'm wearing a diaper, but I swear I'm not. It's really cold. Let's go. That's crazy. Look at how the rocks are all separated all the way up to the top. Alcohol. 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 Alcoh
Right. Oh, we actually have two bottles of water. One for each. So technically it's still one bottle. But then we have some cucumbers. Yum. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some cheese. Uh, we got watermelon. Oh, yes. Some watermelon. Um, some carrots and apples. And then there's more alcohol. So I, I have these lines from the GoPro on my head. How am I looking? Guys, we are the only people here, first off. We brought no change of clothes, no sweatpants, no sweatshirt. It is about 50 degrees now. Got cold fast. We were not expecting this. We were not expecting this. <laughs> we have water Malone, right? Water Malone. We also have this fun film camera that we brought with us. Yeah. I want a piece of water Malone. Cheers. Just me and Mel. That's it. Everybody left. Those are our kayaks. Those are our wet ass kayaks that we have to kayak back in. Yeah. Yay! Our blankets are wet. Everything's wet. I left my GoPro in here. Hopefully, it's here. Is it here? Yeah. Guys, we are going against. We are going against the current. It is so cold. Look, my entire ass is in the water. It's so windy. Oh, my legs are bleeding. They're bleeding. I'm bruised. Just kidding. We're just kidding. Wow. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're kidding. Like, we can do this. We're fine. We're fine. We're just being a little dramatic. No, we're not. We got Ouch. this. We... Are you okay? No. Fine. I'm coming. I'm coming. Guys, we had to pull over to get some claw. Three claw. We need four claw. Those are white claw. I don't typically drink those, but that's all we got. We need to stay warm right now. Look at the current. Look at Bye. the current and the wind. Like you Bye. can see how fast. Bye, Mel. No. Mel. Mel, I'll never forget you. No. Mel. No. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Goodbye, my forever friend. No, I'm trying holy, 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 holy. Guys, guys, we just got back. It took us two hours going against the current. Look at my, sh look at my boots. Like, I am, there's just water that, look at this, look, look at this, do you guys see this? <laughs> nice. I forgot to do an outro, I always forget to do an outro. I'm so sorry guys, but we are back here in LA and we have a lot of exciting things coming up. So I wanted to just tell you guys a little bit about them before I ended this video. There will definitely be a ton more content like this. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button because it lets YouTube know that you are enjoying my content. So going forward, I will be live streaming on YouNow, which is a free live streaming platform every Tuesday and Thursday around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, unless I stay otherwise on my social media. Please make sure that you guys are following me on my socials at it's Chris Star on everything. I will be posting a lot of content on TikTok as well. So if you guys want to see mini spirit box sessions with Jack or the little ghost boy that's in my house right now, uh, definitely go give me a follow on TikTok. We almost had to be rescued on the way back because we were going against the current. Thank God that Jeremy was up on the cliff looking for us because we barely could make it back. We had no idea that it was gonna be that cold later on in the day and that's probably why we were the only people that were left in the canyon because everybody left. Literally everybody left us. Looking back, we realized everybody was leaving before it got cold and the current got stronger. So we know for next time. All is well though, everything was fine. Thank goodness. <laughs> we had a couple white claw. We needed to uh, have some drinks to paddle back and the adrenaline really kicked in. If you guys are ever in Arizona, Utah, definitely check out Lone Rock Beach. Antelope Canyon, it is by far the most stunning place I've ever been and I cannot wait to go back. We camped on the beach in the RV for a couple days. I did post some of those on my TikTok. I didn't really film too much for this video there because we were really just taking a couple days to decompress and not film. And also I wasn't feeling too well those couple days. So I really couldn't do too much, but highly, highly recommend Antelope Canyon. It is Navajo land and they really do such an amazing job at taking care of it and allowing people to still visit. The top part of the canyon was still closed due to COVID, but when it is open it is just as stunning up there and uh, I'm very grateful that the Navajo do allow us to still visit their land because it's such an amazing experience and I really hope that you guys get
get to experience something so beautiful like that. With that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys super soon. Peace out, starlings.